Soul Nation, and welcome back to the homestead. So here on our homestead, we absolutely love the fact that we're able and blessed to be able to take all of our animals and move them on a daily basis from paddock to paddock to paddock. Now, that usually requires different types of fencing, which also sometimes means a different type of charger. And because most of our paddocks are out in a pasture, they're not around an electrical source. So that's where the solar chargers come into play. Now, when we first got our dairy cows, we knew that they were not trained or used to being around any type of an electric fencing. So when we went to start to put them on rotating pastures, we knew that we had to use a charger that was strong enough, powerful enough to make them pause or think twice. And so we went with the S100 because we knew from experience that that charger had enough oomph behind it to even make a pig think twice. And so we've always been extremely pleased with the performance that we've been getting out of the S100. Now here recently, Gallagher contacted us about testing out a new charger. And that new charger is the S30 with a lithium battery. Okay, so it, this is the point in the video where I'm gonna be completely raw and a thousand percent honest with y'all. When they first reached out and contacted us about the S30, I'm absolutely in love, head over heels with the S100. And so I was very skeptical. How in the world is an S30 gonna be able to give me the same level of performance as the S100? But because we trust Gallagher and talking with, with them throughout it, I decided that we were gonna go ahead and give it a go. So let me take this time and point out to you what's new about this new S30 charger with the lithium battery that's different than uh, your previous Gallagher chargers. First of all, as you can see, it's a lot smaller, definitely a lot smaller than the S100. It's very compact. The only thing that's in the front now is the panel and the handle. Also, your, pa your solar panel itself now is now what they call double glazed. Now, to be honest with you, I don't know exactly what that means or what that does the only thing that i know is that by double glazing it it helps uh extend the life of the panel that's all i know around the back side of the charger is where your knob your on off knob and your indicator light is in the very beginning knee jerk reaction i was not happy about that i liked having the indicator light out in front so from at dusk or at dawn i could actually be able to look out there and say, okay, the charger's working because I can see the indicator light. And so at first I was like, uh, I don't really like that. But talking with them, the reason why that they took the stuff off of the front is to prolong the life of your knob and all of that electrical stuff that's back there because of the constant beating of the sunlight and the, the rain, the weather all that stuff was taking a toll and they were noticing that <clears throat> over the years they were getting damage to their old chargers with the knobs and stuff due to that stuff. So they went to protect it by moving it in the back. So how do you fix this problem if you're used to being able to ride around in the pastures and just look at your charger to see that the charger's off? Well, Gallagher has a fence indicator that you can hang on the fence and then you just have a, have a rod to ground it, stick it down in there. No batteries required. And its indicator light is a heck of a lot bigger than what's on any of the chargers. So you'll be able to see that from a longer distance. All right, so let's talk about the battery for a second, the lithium battery. Now we all know that the lithium batteries have been pretty much replacing all the old style batteries. If you use cordless power tools, you've been seeing that like companies like Ryobi and them, they're getting away from the, the old batteries and going to these lithium batteries. And that's because the lifespan of the battery is a lot longer. And so it's no surprise that Gallagher wants to move in that direction also. So that's what they installed in this battery. Now, <clears throat> normally, 
or with the old chargers, you would have a three-year guarantee on the charger, but only a one-year guarantee on the battery. With this one, now you have a three-year guarantee on everything. And mostly uh, because one, they believe in the lithium battery, but a kind of a negative, at least from our point of view, because we don't like to take stuff and, and throw it away. We like to try to repurpose, reuse as much as we possibly can. With the old S100s, you could open up the back, take the, when the battery was gone, take that battery out and replace it with a new battery. Unfortunately, you cannot do that with the S30. My positive point, point of view from right now, standing on experience, is I've had these S100s, the S200, the S40. I've had all of those for over three years and I'm just now starting to have issues with the batteries. So on the old battery, if it's lasting three years plus, I'm very excited and I can't wait to see exactly how long this S30 is going to last. But one of the most important features is the AI. Now, before you stop the video and throw your hands up saying, I'm not gonna do anything with AI because I know there's been a whole bunch of drama going on with AI technology right now. The AI technology in this charger actually benefits you. And how it benefits you is, is by using this smart technology, the AI is going to register if the battery is going to be getting overcharged or if it's, or if it's not receiving enough in to charge it. And it's going to adjust the pulse, the pulse rate and how much it puts out in order to save your battery life on this charger. Now talking about that, that AI, there's, there's something else that I need to share with you guys that's, in my opinion, is really important. At, um, with this AI technology, for your predators, that it automatically switches into the, the like predator, predator resistant, predator control option that Gallagher has on their chargers. With the old S100s and S40s and those, you had to physically come up and take and turn the knob if you were going to leave the fence charged throughout the night <clears throat> with this one you don't have to turn that knob it automatically adjusts the amount of pulse that it's setting it out and the power that it's going out with it which is really nice because if you're busy like we are there are times that you forget to run out there and flip that knob and i bet you some of you are looking at the camera right now going there's a setting on the knob for that because to be honest with you, we didn't know it either. All right, so I gave you all the, the, the juicy details about the new S30. Now, how does it work in a real world scenario? Well, let me tell you, I'll be the first one to sit down to the table and start cutting me a big chunk of crow to eat because I was pleasantly surprised at the output that this little S30 is putting. In fact, we have now taken the S100 off of the dairy cows and replaced it for the s30 and we've done that for the past month and we've had nothing but success with it she doesn't test it and in fact when we were loading the two cows to send to the butcher about a month not even a month ago a couple weeks ago <clears throat> all the other cows got out well they came up here and she was cycling they came up here and they didn't they didn't test the fence. They got up to it real close and I guess to the point where they can sense what it is and they wouldn't go any closer. So that alone tells me that this charger is really good to go. Now we did take our Gallagher, <coughs> excuse me, we did take our Gallagher tester and we tested it around, around our paddock here and we compared it to the S100. And in all honesty, there wasn't that much of a difference. Now, if you start talking about net fencing, that could be a whole different animal. And we're gonna try this charger out on different setups because we have the Gallagher smart fence with the pigs and we also have the Gallagher uh, chicken netting or fence netting as well, both for goats and for sheep. And we're gonna try that out very well, just to see what it is. But for 
right now and possibly all the way into the future until it dies nine times out of ten it's going to stay right where it's at right now um unless i just get some amazing readings from the net fencing um it's going to stay right where it's at right now and get moved every day along with louise in her in her paddocks all right so if you run electric netting or electric netting or electric fencing like this and you can't really like you can't justify the cost for the s100 or, or larger I, I strongly suggest you give this s30 a try and in fact we have a coupon code through gallagher that allows you to get 10 percent. i think it's 10 percent off and we'll leave that in the description plus it's coming across the screen right now right in here that you can go on there and you can just type in that coupon code and you'll get and you'll get a discount overall i'm really impressed by this little s30 and i have absolutely no problem eating the crow that i need to eat because i gave gallagher a little bit of a hard time i asked a lot of hard questions because i to the point that i even said to them why are you guys trying to reinvent the wheel you're the best in the market with solar chargers why are you why are you, why are you trying to change stuff and and you know it's just them trying to take their product and making it better and in this case i think they did Thanks for coming by the Big Bear Homestead. God bless and have a nice day.